Today is all the four letter words you should be saying, especially when it comes to your health. So what's the four letter D word that applies to your nose and your eyes? It's damp. Damp is good, and Dr. Warden's gonna talk about this topic, but we do need someone from the audience to help out with a little demonstration. Raise your hands, any volunteers? You wanna come on up? Yes. Come on. All right, you're coming over to the nose station. How are you? And your name is? Soteria. Hi, Soteria. Welcome. How are you? Hi. So you're ready to talk damp? Yes. Okay, so we're talking about the nose, and we know the nose is lined with what we call mucous membranes, which are meant to be moist, but things can be too moist and things can be too dry, okay? So I want you to test this nose out for me. I want you to take one hand and put it in this rather large <laughs> nostril. Okay. This is world's biggest nostril right here. Uh, what came out? What's it? Oh, ah. yeah. oh, what's it? Oh, oh, yeah. oh that's nasty. That's like, <laughs> wow. That's Thank overly you. moist. And what that would mean is that you, pro you may have a cold, you may have allergies, yeah. you may be forming too much mucus for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. There, you need to clear it out. You may want to go on decongestants. All right, now with the other hand, I want you to try this side. Thing. Yes, you can, you can find that nostril. Scared. How's that feel? It's kind of dry. So you see, that is what mildly wow. moist. That's what you want. That's what you want the lining of your nose, that sensitive mucous membrane to be slightly moist. Okay. Now, if it gets too dry, you want to use saline drops. You may want to use a little bit of Vaseline or Neosporin. You may want to use a humidifier, especially <coughs> in the winter if you're indoors a lot, if you're living in a, in a dry climate. So, Terry, we have other mucous membranes, too, and one of those is the white part of our eyes, the so-called conjunctiva, and that, again, you don't want your, your eyes to overly tear with allergies, things like that. You don't want them to be overly dry because they'll get irritated. They'll get red like our eye over here. So what I want you to do is, let's say these are your tears, and if you're not producing enough tears, these could be artificial tears, natural tears. I want you okay. to spray that in there and eliminate that redness showing that slightly damp <gasps> is important to a healthy conjunctiva. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's, there's certain things that can make that the eye dry, eye dry right? Like medications, well, like antihistamines can definitely do Dry that. eye is, is so common. More people have dry eye mm -hmm. than, than you realize. So if you feel any irritation in your eyes, itching, burning, have it checked out because, in fact, you may have uh, dry eye yeah. and you need to supplement that dampness, that moisture. Yeah. Thank you, Soteria. Yeah. Thank right. you. Good job.